Something I wonder if it goes through some Muslim's head when they come to this country is, or even from afar, is that it seems that the lifestyle that we live here in general is quite agreeable to Christians. It's not to say that it actually is agreeable, but that may be the impression they're given. Most Christians don't follow their belief. They don't. They, they veer far, far from their belief. Muslims tend to tend to, particularly outside of Western countries, tend to live a lot closer to the way that their religious books say. And there are obviously some countries where that's a perfectly acceptable thing to do. We have a common culture here. I said that in my last video. We have a common culture here. And if you veer off too far from what this culture, this dominant culture in this country, if you veer way too far from that, you will be looked at negatively. Particularly, and especially, if the things that you're doing appear cruel, mean, barbaric, and that sort of thing. Now, those are interpretations of, doesn't necessarily mean that's what someone is, though there is a pretty big percentage of those that are Muslim who really do believe we should be living according to a lot of these really negative types of dogma that are in the Quran. If Christians were to be as devout to their religious book, the Bible, they would be living much more close to the way that Muslims do. So, when Muslims come here, or they try to study here, Muslims, and when I say by Muslims, I'm meaning Muslims that are from uh, somewhere in the Middle East where uh, people get stoned for being raped and all that sort of shit, right? So they come here, and expect to have their religion be as respected as much as the Christian religion is here. When, when you're talking with, a, with someone that's Muslim, that is very devout, that's the type of person who would get angry at something, you'll find that a lot of Muslims don't actually as long as you're having the discussion here and not in the Middle East, obviously, but they don't get as angry at questioning specific things in the Quran. They get more offended when they can't put their, uh, their religion on display on jobs and, and, and just, just everywhere that they go, they want to identify as Muslim they get upset, you know, when, when those types of things are hindered in any way. That's what they end up getting upset at. Or a perceived um, discrimination, like Abercrombie and Fitch didn't want to hire someone if they were going to have to wear this scarf, and she, she tried to sue, and actually I think she won, if I'm not mistaken, I can't even remember now, but... And it's in those types of things. And it's also very much getting on the social justice uh, feminist side of things. But people from the Middle East seem to expect something a little different. Christians don't tend to care if they can't wear their religion on their sleeve. But they do care when someone really critiques the Bible and critiques Christianity. They get really, really bent out of shape. And then they claim persecution when people do that. But 
it hasn't been since the 1980s that I hear about Christians getting really offended because their job site won't let them wear this big, huge cross necklace or something. So we've got these different standards that people are getting offended over things. Now, granted, there are obviously these some of the the, the Muslims that are that are even here that still make some big ass deal over over a drawing of Muhammad. Quite frankly, those people who get that upset over it probably shouldn't be here. The Muslims that react that way probably shouldn't be here. There has to be a certain amount of integration going on. When you are permanently offended at everything, it's time to go. I mean, it would be the same thing as if we went, if someone like myself went to the Middle East, which I wouldn't do in the first place, but you know, if I did, and I was getting acting all offended at everything that was around me, look at the way that, that these people live. This is offensive type of thing, right? It would be the same as myself going somewhere like that. You know, if I'm going to find everything offensive, I should go. But I wouldn't go there in the first place. So there are people that just want a better life for themselves. And those are the ones that stay and make good lives for themselves. And those are the people that, are, that generally are able to integrate into our, into our society. And they work out. Dude, do you even lift, bro? What is that? And I just realized that they said, they work out. Hey, work out! You know? <laughs> but, uh... No, it works out when, you know, people from Muslim countries come here and they really, they, they want to do things according to our rules and our culture. They want to integrate as much as they can. And if you're saying, oh, well, there shouldn't have to be this integration. Well, you know, I don't, I don't believe in clothing if, if it's, if it's uh, not really, uh, if it's like really hot, like if it was up to me and I didn't want to have to worry about the laws and, and, and I wouldn't get arrested or whatever, you know, if, if it was a hot day, I would just go wherever nude, but I don't get all bent out of shape because I can't, I do push for, you know, body acceptance but I'm not going to tell people oh you have to be nude I mean it's all up to the individual oh you have to be comfortable with this or that well no that would be like uh, the extreme side of act up you have to accept me kind of thing it's just like uh, no you know I'm not trying to push any sort of dogmatic belief but I do think that it would be nice if more people were uh, not afraid of the human body. You know, I have a number of things that I think would be nice to be different, but I still live in this society, I still live in this culture, and, you know, I'm, I have to live under the laws that are here. And I try to respect the laws as much as I can. These are our customs. These, this is the way we live as a, as a culture. This is the, these are some of the standards. You can, you know, choose to completely go with them. You can see what areas. Hmm. Well, you can see what areas that don't hurt anyone that you can. Uh, I guess get away with and, and not going to be really given too much of a problem um, like I think about uh, my musk you know I have my nickname for a reason and that's one area that I push to some degree irritate some people some people don't care to me, this would be the equivalent of if I was trying to get work around the public and still refuse to be anything other than my nickname, right? 
and then suing over it because, well, it's my belief. You know, I, I would never dream of doing something like that. I guess a number of people think sort of fallaciously as far as what is the fallacy called where, well, everyone else is doing it. I think that's what a lot of people do when they think about why a religion to them makes behavior. Oh, well, it's, it's a religion. Therefore, uh, you can think like this man, it's supposed to be considered. Okay. Same reason why there could be a discussion. There's, there's a, there's this image that, uh, a gluteus put out on Google plus and, uh, it had someone that's, that's a, uh, that's a feminist or an SJW on the right and some guy on the left saying, uh, well, I, I think women shouldn't have rights and gays should be hung from the rooftops. And there was this woman goes, oh, that's, that's horrible. How can you think such things? You're, you're a terrible person. You must be a Republican. And the guy responds saying, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not a Republican. Uh, I'm Muslim. That's part of my beliefs. And then the next, the next frame showed her go, oh, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't offend you. Oh, it's your beliefs. People do this. And it's strange. If someone were to do these things and, I mean, things that are, have viewpoints that are as extreme, but they didn't have it based on religion. It's just some, someone's personal beliefs. Or heck, he could say, well, it's my own personal religion. I made this, I made up this religion myself and follow my own religion. Um, we'd be going, that's awful. You're terrible. But if someone's going according to some bullshit set of reasoning that a bunch of people believe, well, it's okay because a lot of people believe it. That's a weird one. I don't, I don't get that one. I don't get how people can think that way. Yeah, but the truth is, as I said earlier, Christianity, if it was actually carried out the way, more close to the way that the Bible shoves things forth, unless they're the brand of Christianity that says the Old Testament is all crap and we need to start over with the New Testament, you know, if they're still following the Old Testament, then, and there's parts of the New Testament that are kind of messed up too in that same regard, but then they would be, I mean, Westboro Baptist Church would be tame, would be some of the tamest compared to what Christianity would be if it was actually being followed. And yet there are people that want to come into this country whom the ones who believe, don't necessarily treat people like, but the ones who believe in a way that's similar to the Westboro Baptist Church, and they're the mild to moderate ones who believe that way. I didn't say act like, I said believe like. And there isn't some sort of concern. We're not supposed to be concerned. We know how the melting pot works. We don't want to have to go completely backwards as far as human rights, uh, attitudes towards human rights, you know, women's rights, gay rights, trans rights. We don't want to, to destroy so much of the progress that we've made. I mean, just about everyone can agree that there has been a lot of progress over the past, like, hundred years. There have been some things that people can argue that, well, maybe this isn't so much progress. Okay, that's fine. But in general, we've made a lot of progress. Why would we want something to melt into us that is so backward? And I'm going to say it's backward. Christianity has... It's, it's barely Christianity. I mean, it's Christianity light. For the most part, we are a secular country. We have a lot of leftovers of Christian beliefs. 
But that's not because this country was founded to promote Christian values. It's just happened to be the majority of people in this country have been Christian. And over time, a lot of laws have, have been built up based on those values. It had the heyday in, in the 1950s. I don't want to go back to the 1950s, whether it's via Christianity or whether it's via Islam or whether it's via some strange ideology that says that women are weak and helpless and should be coddled at every turn, but then then complain because uh, they're not being treated like they're masculine. Um, you know, no matter what type of belief system wants to bring us back in time I don't want to go there let's keep going forward picture any of the uh, the YouTubers out there or any material you've ever seen that's poking fun at Christianity and replace Christian or God, Christian with, with Muslim, and replace God with Allah. And are you really going to try to claim that Muslims are picked on worse than Christians? Muslims are discriminated against more than Christians, but that's because they're the Muslims, the, these ones in particular that are being discriminated against, want to make it a big thing that they are Muslim. They identify as Muslim before they identify as being a citizen or attempting to be a citizen of the country in which they reside. I'm thinking of like Little Britain for a moment. And there's that guy, I'm the only gay in the village. And he has to always talk about that he's gay. Gay, 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 gay. I'm gay. Hey, everyone, I'm gay. Hey, did you know I'm gay? Hey, hey, everyone. But he, of course, he doesn't do it that way, but that's what it boils down to, right? When, when people define themselves continually and have to remind you of the demographic they fit, um, that's fucking irritating, no matter what demographic it is. Hey, everyone, I'm, I'm from England. Hey, did you know I'm from England? Hey, everyone. Hey, the queen. God save the queen. Or <laughs> whatever, you know. Um, step in time. Step in time. <laughs> you know, I mean, just anyone who has to constantly remind you of, of what demographic they are, they're, that's going to not be looked at positively. And if someone has to constantly do that, yet yeah, they're probably not going to be hired. And you can't you can't blame it on the your, the religion. You can blame it on the fact you have to remind people all the time that you are whatever this is. Oh, the religion. You're gay. Oh, you're straight. Oh, you're a woman. Oh, you're you're a, 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 an affectionate man. You're a uh, you're a, a man's man. You're a real man. You're a blah 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 blah. It just goes on and on, right? Um. Chewing enjoyment goes on and on. So, you know, anyone like that is going to be irritating. And if it's found that someone is acting like that constantly, you know, it's... Nobody wants to be in a workplace with someone who just is so full of themselves over their... Or they identify only as this demographic they fit. I mean, what the hell? Some place where, uh, I mean, it can be used the, the other way where, you know, they'll look at someone some way. Oh, you're, you're looking at me that way because I'm gay. Or you're looking, you're looking at me beca that way because I'm black. Or you're looking at me that way because I'm a woman. Or, and it could be just some innocent look. Someone just said, well, what's going on? And, and they didn't look the right way. And someone who constantly takes offense in that kind of way, whatever demographic it is, you're... You did this because I'm, insert demographic here, people who will claim persecution for things that have never even happened. So if you are moving to a country and you're not more interested in becoming a citizen of that country 
and adopting the laws and ways of life of that country. And you're more interested in bringing the mindset you had from the country you originally resided in. Why are you coming here? Why? What's the point? This isn't to say that people shouldn't come here or can't come here. But if you're going to come here with an attitude that you should be able to live like you do in Muslim countries, um, yeah, we should be able to criticize that. We should be able to criticize some messed up beliefs. We should definitely be able to criticize the way that Muslims live in Muslim countries in the Middle East. We should be able to criticize that, just as the people that are living there should be able to criticize our way of life with all our materialism and consumerism and all that shit that runs this country. They should be able to criticize us. We shouldn't freak out so much when people in the Middle East criticize our country like that. As long as nobody's going to each other's country and trying to force change. Oh, wait. We've done that a bunch of times. Then they come here with uh, terrorism in hopes that it will change our ways, which it isn't. It just makes it worse. We shouldn't be in the Middle East. We shouldn't involve ourselves in anything in that way, in, in, in the Middle East, in, in countries that have values that are diametrically opposed to our own. Yes, yes, I get it. We're all humans. Yes, we're all humans. We should, we should be, think of, of the fact that we're all humans. No, their values in the Middle East, in Muslim countries, are diametrically opposed to ours. We certainly can't have people coming here who think that everyone should live according to the, the rules they have over there. We can't just welcome that with open arms. That's not something to welcome with open arms. If people are unwilling to live according to our laws, live according and, and try to integrate into our culture... We have the right to criticize. Yes, I know. Wouldn't it be nice if we could all just get along? Well, that's not going to happen. Boundaries have to be drawn at some point. If everywhere is some sort of massive mishmash of different cultures in every country, where is the country's identity? Now, if you're saying that shouldn't be important, well, then what's the point in countries? Should we go for this one world government? Maybe we shouldn't criticize any ideas, no matter what they are. And uh, I could say that, uh, hi, I'm a tape recorder. Respect my tape recorder pronouns. No, no, I'm a high bias tape. I'm not a low bias tape. I'm a frisbee. Look at me, I can fim. You know, uh, I believe in the nuclear, ho nuclear holocaust. Hi, how are you? Don't say th bad things about the cloud. Don't say anything bad about Apple products. <laughs> Never say anything that could offend someone. Let's live in the uh, demolition man reality. Yes. If only we had those shells, right? <laughs> 
You know, people need to accept that a country needs to have standards or there's really no difference between countries. The homogenization of all the countries is not... That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The only way that sort of thing would work is if, like I said in another video, where if technology is at a point where everyone and everything that you say and everything you do is tracked. And we're basically, you know, the government is a computer program. And you would have to register what your beliefs are so you can be held to the, the standards you state that you have. Right? No. That is not something we should go for. That is not something we should strive for. Let's let some individual things about different countries flourish. And if you want to move somewhere that has the values that you like the most, then move there. You can be trying to work towards getting the country you reside in a little more open-minded about certain things. There's always going to be a bit of a stretch that way. But being open-minded to closed-mindedness, being open-minded to a fucked up belief system? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I've, I've had to laugh when I, I looked up the phrase on YouTube, uh, uh, feminist Muslim. Well, you've got to be fucking kidding me. And there's been a number of people who've made videos about this, but I just... Attempts at making that look like it's a valid uh, type of thing. I mean, that's just... Wow. <laughs>